Hello everybody. Let's see what makes up a pharyngeal arch. So here you have a picture that we have seen in most of our embryology textbooks. This is a section of the embryo uh, with the top part cut off and looking at it from the posterior aspect. And a typical pharyngeal arch structures can be studied in this view. So each arch has an outer ectodermal covering which is this in green and on the inside it is covered by endoderm and between the ectoderm and endoderm we know there are three embryonal layers and so the third layer is found between the ectoderm and endoderm. So there is a mesodermal core for each arch. But in each arch we have four main structures. Each arch has each of these four main structures and what are they? Basically there is a cartilaginous core or a rod which gives rise to the skeletal remnants of the arch. Each arch also has a muscular component formed from the mesoderm which gives rise to the muscles of the arch. It has an aortic arch artery which supplies the structures within the arch as well as a particular arch nerve which is specific for each arch and supplies only the structures derived from that arch. Apart from that, there are three more terms that you need to know when you are starting to learn pharyngeal arches. Let's place the ectoderm and the endoderm. You can see that the endoderm forms pockets between adjacent arches on the inside. You can see them, the blue pockets are there. Outpouchings they are called and these outpouchings are called pharyngeal pouches. So pharyngeal pouches are basically extensions of the endoderm in between adjacent arches on the inside. There are similar uh, clefts formed by the ectoderm on the outside and these are called the pharyngeal grooves or clefts. Finally, if you look at these pink areas that I have marked, you can see those areas you don't have any other components of the pharyngeal arches, just the ectoderm on the outside, the endoderm on the inside with the intervening mesoderm. So there is a very thin mesoderm intervening between ectoderm and endoderm closely approximated to each other and those structures are the pharyngeal membranes. And together, we call all of them together as the pharyngeal apparatus. So the pharyngeal apparatus consists of pharyngeal arches, pharyngeal pouches, pharyngeal grooves, and then pharyngeal membranes. So all of this together forms your pharyngeal apparatus. I will be linking the entire class below. Do take a look. Thank you so much.